Hello and welcome to the Nexus for issue 157. I've finally got it. It's the Klingon freighter Gulmar. Gulmar. The Gulmar. I think that's right. Um, some of these ones I can get straight away, but other ones I have trouble difficulties just saying. Is it the Gulmar? The Gulmar. Uh, it's a Klingon freighter, which is really nice. It was um, Gold the Cuts one where he was sort of. Um, Depromoted to it. Uh, yeah, it's a freighter 24th century. Um, it's Cardassian Alpha Quadrant, uh, has warp engines, phasers, and this version has a hidden disruptor which they salvage from uh, a planet defense system. So there's a bit of in universe information about it. Um, they uh, sort of go to a conference where they're taking Major Kira. Um, they find that the conference has been ambushed by the Klingons. Uh, there's a sort of a switcheroo where they transport all the Klingons to the freighter and the Kardashians to the Klingon bird of prey, and it fires. And this brings out um, sort of uh, Golda Cut from exile, basically. So he's been sort of downgraded, washed away to this freighter, and then his rise from power actually starts from this episode. Um, and it has some play on uh, Major Kira as well, because she helps. Um, so, yeah, it's also the first um, episode that we see um, Damar, who has a, a major part to play in future seasons uh, there. So we're here we have the top, th uh, front, back, and a side view. As you can clearly say, it's a freighter. Uh, then we come on to designing i never noticed it was in voyager but it did appear in voyager uh it appeared in obviously as a Kardashian ship it also appeared again in um for the uniform as a as a Kardashian freighter rules of engagement as a Kardashian freighter. this is one where wolf is um accused of attacking and a defenseless ship uh then on voyager which like i said called fair trade it's where neelix goes off i don't we barely see it and it's changed color and then again we get it, it as a klingon um freighter in sons and daughters uh but the klingon one is slightly different it's green um the front end has been filled in which we'll show on the model and it has these sort of engine pods on the wings so i'm wondering if we'll actually get that one because it's slightly different but yeah on the design aspects it goes from these it's basically shipping containers which is what a freighter really is isn't it uh there were some design aspects and stuff uh then we come on to obviously the rise of damar like i said it's the first episode where we um we see damar and like i said from this it goes a bit hectic for him before he becomes a sort of before he's deaf obviously and he becomes sort of a rebel leader really uh, and then we um, have some trivia here. We've already done the um, the Excelsior Concept one, so go and check that out. We've already done that. Actually, I don't. Even, I think that's the second concept. Oh, they've made a boo boo. It says Concept one. It's actually Concept two. So that's worth checking out. So without further ado, let's take a look at the model. So it slots in really nicely into the stand. The stand's there, and it sort of fits in just in this bit just here. And it fits really nice. It's actually a really nice uh, size as well, which is really uh, good. Because, um, like, anyone will tell you, bigger is better. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we have this really sort of, um, sort of Cardassian sort of mustardy colour that we have on here. We get this sort of uh, running light so you can see how big it is. We get a Cardassian emblem on the back. And on the other side as well, uh, the fork at the front is similar to uh, their warships, which has it at the back. But this is the front of the ship. This is the bridge just here. Uh, so it has this sort of fork design on the Klingon one. All this is filled in. It's more bulkier. Uh, we have the wings as well uh, on the Klingon one. Like I said, it's green and it has these sort of um, pylons on the side, warp engines. Uh, as in regards to the engines, we have impulse engines at the side and the warp engines up and down it's a really nice one i'm surprised it's taken this long to to get it because i would have thought we'd had it a little bit sooner 
Uh, I'm still holding out for... Some people might say, well, this is the last Cardassian uh, ship we'll get. I'm still holding out for Dreadnought, even though it's like um, a torpedo shape. Um, I'm still holding out that we'll one day get um, the Dreadnought ship, and then that will be all the Cardassian ships um, that they've shown on screen to date. But like I said, uh, like I've, I've said previously, um, these are all on the older series, so any new ones will now be new licensed and won't be coming into this collection anymore. Uh, yeah, so underneath we've got uh, another fin, almost like a rudder under underneath here, under the wings. It's it's a really nice ship. I, I really like the freighters that we've gotten. Uh, we've had the Horizon and stuff like that. But yeah, I really like it. Um, tell me what you think. I really like the uh, the Cardassian freighter. Um, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next video.